Well, you can't be here for 39 years and not know how important the orchestra program has been to Chippewa Hills. Um, my daughters were never in orchestra, although I did have a couple in band who then, because sometimes you require band people to come into the orchestra to play too. So, um, go back a long ways when I. Ms. Villa was here. We started orchestra in fourth grade. As a principal, we had orchestra at fourth grade level. Um, every time we cut a program in my five years as superintendent, we've just cut, 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 cut. Um, many programs that are very important. We used to have music, you know, um, two weeks out of the month in our elementary schools and PE two weeks out of the month. And now we have one week of PE. You know, we, we rotate on the three weeks. Every time we do it, why did we do that? To save more money. And even though we've made all these cuts, we still, you, you can see what's happening to our fund equity. Of course, what we do not want to happen is to get a fund equity so that we are in a deficit so you have a chance of being taken over. I mean, you're hearing of school districts being taken over right now. So any cut that we make is painful, especially when you're looking at a program that's been around here forever. You know, I agree with Audrey on that. It's been here a long, long time. Um, when we look at orchestra right now, we have, um, I believe, 35 students in the high school orchestra, um, which is a fine enough number. But we have 19 in the seventh, eighth grade orchestra. And we did not recruit for the seventh grade, so we have no students in the seventh grade, signed up for orchestra in the seventh grade. And as we look at electives, 19 in a class when we're asking the other electives to be 30, 31, 32. I mean, it's, it comes down to numbers. Now, would there be a way that we could keep the high school orchestra? I mean, they talked about athletics. You know, athletics is an extracurricular. Um, it's something maybe we could add. You know, say, my be okay to play. I don't even know if we would need to do that. But, and then the other problem would be, could we find someone to do it? Is leaving us. So my recommendation, as much as it hurts me, is that at this time, with Kyle leaving, we have to look at discontinuing orchestra in Chicago. The main setup I'm hearing here is that orchestra is a family. For for some people, they do sports, orchestra are both, but for others, that's what that's their identity is sport, or excuse me, is orchestra. So I think it's important that these kids are allo be allowed to further education in that aspect. Um, another point is, is that as parents, we have a lot of time and money invested in, in for lessons, rentals, etc. But more importantly, they've got the time invested. And that's the most important thing. They've spent their time and effort, you know, practicing over and over and over again, you know, gaining discipline, which helps for them and other studies as well. So I really hope you could keep it the program. Thank you. One of the reasons um, when we moved here from Marquette, um, she's been um, playing for so very long and, and enjoys it. We chose this area um, in the school district for the simple fact as well as um, of the music program because we wanted her to stay in uh, a school that had a wonderful music program. Um, and I just wanted to maybe put out there too is, um, you know, a, a lot of times people pay to play sports. I mean, maybe parents also would consider, you know, if it was one of the um, aspects of keeping the program to pay to play, you know, um, orchestra as well. I mean, I know that they already have to rent, um, you know, the the instrument if they don't own one. But I know, you know, you know, anything to keep the program because again, you, uh, we have so much invested already in it, and it is so important to the students and the parents as well. So. These kids do deserve orchestra. Just not in a position to be able to afford it. <coughs> we are we're cutting meat, and I don't, I really don't see uh, how this is going to change. I'm afraid this is just the first of really tough decisions that I'm going to have to face. And <coughs> not, not like it. When I was in high school, um, I played the child all the way through. Sorry. And some of my very best memories come from orchestra. 
I played in orchestras. I um, played in Mount Pleasant. I played in weddings. I have my very best friends that I still talk to from high school that were in orchestra. And um, I think if not for the program, I would not have taken the risks that I did. I wouldn't have had the confidence that I had. Um, I wouldn't have gotten the scholarships that I did out of high school. I have had the most amazing chances to play with the Honolulu Symphony and the Honolulu Ballet. I took my cello everywhere I went. I've been from Hawaii to Boston to go to college. And I ended up back in this area because I wanted my kids to go through the school system and have the same chances that I did. So it's something that, um, just like all these kids are talking about, it's really touching because it's great to hear that it still has an impact that it did for me. And I still send Mrs. V a Christmas card every year to say thank you. So I'd really like to see it today. I want to remind you of some of the things you might not have been hearing yet tonight, and that is the history of that program in our community. So I'd like to remind you that the orchestra program in this community has existed longer than the Chippewa Hills School District has existed in this community. It is a historical gem and treasure that this school district has been able to offer not only to the students that are members of the orchestra program, but to also offer that to other students in the school district that are not members of a music program and the community itself. To let this community that you have to admit has limited opportunities and limited resources in, in cultural events and uh, fine arts opportunities. And so this was one of the gems that we were able to offer to our students in this community to let them know that developing your creative side, your creative skills and your creative abilities is just as important as creating, as, as continuing the development of your academic abilities. And so this has been something, excuse me, that we've been able to offer to our students for over 50 years and I am a strong proponent of the district that we would continue to offer that to generations in the future. It's not a case if we're picking one area. Um, it's, it's just gotten so difficult. Oh, the curriculum council, if you notice, we budgeted no money. I remember the years that I was working at Chippewa Hills and, and the big joke was we had books, science books, that talked about someday man would walk on the moon. And it happened 15 years before. And now my greatest regret is I see us going back instead of going forward as we have done for so long. And it's just constantly. I would love an alternative to keep the high school program going. I would love it. Um, in all honesty, my understanding is if, if we do not discontinue this program right now, we will be laying off another teacher at the high school, my correct, Mrs. Howard, to uh, fill the needs of the cuts we had established. If we, if we put orchestra back in, we would look for a part-time orchestra. So someone else would be laid off. So we would lay off somebody else, yes. And so that's the point we've reached. You know, it's not a case of where we're saying, oh, good, look, we got this money. It's a case of saying, what are we going to do? How are we going to fund it? So being on the Board of Education right now is probably one of the worst experiences I've ever had in my life. And I don't sleep well. And it's because of things like this.